Greetings. Okay, someone's just asked me about doing a video, so uh, I'm going to do it while we're at that stage because they wanted to uh, know about a vertical post. So uh, while I'm here, I'll do it. Okay, so the idea is, is that when you are going to be doing any opening at all and taking away the building, um, it used to be that you could put it on pad stones either side, but now due to wind apparently and other issues that uh, it needs to be on a vertical post instead of the brick wall. So what you tend to do is the post needs to be fixed to um, a pad stone, which is a big thick piece of concrete. Concrete. Now just remember, get a vibrator and stick the vibrator in there, learn how to do it, watch one of the videos out there. and. Uh, use that and it levels itself at whatever height you need you can get a little post however or set some kind of level and set it at that whatever height you need to finish off with obviously which is going to be the bottom of the steel uh, ideally uh, as well as as you're building the extension uh, it's best to do all the dig out at the beginning of the job obviously when there's nothing here and the wall's still up and uh, underpin open it up around that area so that the pad stone is connected onto the foundation on both sides bit of a tip at the moment my friend okay so there's a pad stone over there as well uh if you need to connect to anything usually you can use these rods steel rods which i'm going to talk about in a bit uh and other rods and literally just drill into any other foundation you're connecting to uh, halfway and connect it up a bit similar to what we're going to show you in a minute of how we've uh how we've done these uh okay so uh, at the bottom of the steel you always have a plate top of the steel if it's resting on it, you'd have a plate. If not, this is going into the side. So ideally, once your concrete foundation is set, you need to get a decent drill. And also, uh, we are gonna be using around about a 16 mil bar. Now the idea is, is we're gonna drill a hole and the hole's gonna be uh, 24 mil bar. So, so this is 20 mil bar and the hole's gonna be 24 mil drill bit going straight in so you know you need to mark where the plates are on the steel move it then drill it clean it out blow it out etc and then uh, you jet some of well there's many stuff on the market but this is a spit one which is good and what you do is you just literally there's it there it is attach that onto the bottom of it and as you press it it mixes it all in so all you're doing is you're shoving that deeper down into the hole keep filling it up and keep blasting it as much as and uh, as i say use a, a decent possibly sds drill and a decent drill um, and then make as i say the holes once you've uh, you've done that you jet that spit stuff straight into the hole put your steel in, in, in all sides put your steel into position get these rods and literally just knock them in now if you, you're cutting from a, a long bar should i say and you're cutting sections off it always put your nuts on first and your washers and then do the cut and then pull your wash uh, your nut over the threaded bar and then it should thread it back otherwise otherwise if you don't and you try to get a nut on because it's been caught and it's flat you might not you might struggle to get the nut onto the thread okay so Ideally, you don't really have to tighten up maybe till the next couple of days after. All you're doing is you're just banging them in straight away, just tight, hand tighten, uh, make sure all the squelchy stuff comes out, etc. If you're fixing to a wall, same again. Ideally, give yourself a template if ever you're making the steel so that you can say to someone, right, okay, what we need to do is we need to drill more or less straight into the halfway of that brick and uh, put some kind of roll plug, expanding roll plugs. So what you do is you bang them in, literally, well, sorry, drill the hole uh, at the same size as what the, the nut is, um, at the roll plug, and then literally clean it out, blow it out, etc. You can get some air spray and just literally spray it in and it cleans it. Bang that in and literally just tighten it up and what it does is it expands on the inside. So same again, I'd probably say four, five of them all the way up the side. Both sides as well on that side, same with the nuts all the way around. Coming to the top, obviously you've got a plate that's bolted. Sorry, there, there we go, plate that's bolted to this. They're all tightened up, there's eight of them. And then the steel, obviously when it was all held up, it was uh, welded around that section there. And as you can see, there's a, a plate that's been fixed. So the steel, say, could be nine inches, but the actual wall is 11 inches. 